All right, as promised, we're going to take a closer look at editing out multiple parts of a track using the new Serato Flip feature. My previous video, I just showed a quick demonstration, but a lot of people seem to be having trouble with it and wanted to see something more in depth, so we're going to take a look at that here. So I have this track right here, and I have multiple cue points set up on it, and these cue points are going to be the points where I want to jump and cut out the sections of the track. So we're going to cut out the area between the red and the orange marker, and then it's going to play along until it hits the blue marker. We're going to jump all the way to the yellow marker. And we're going to play some more. And then it's going to jump from the green marker to the purpley fuchsia looking marker. Now we don't need to be connected. Flip can work in the offline player. And you really don't even need to play the track in its entirety and let it play through. Because remember, Flip does not record any platter movements. It only records the cue point pressing and the sensory. Now, we're just going to jump right to the yellow, or excuse me, the red cue point. And it might help if we open the flip panel. We're going to arm the flip recording. And I'm just going to basically press the cue points at the, you know, at the correct time. So we're going to jump from this red one to the orange one. So let's just press it. All right. And that's all there is to that. Next, we're just going to drag the playhead to the next cue point, which is going to be this blue one right here. Uh, let's line it up pretty close to we can. And then we're going to jump to the yellow marker right here. So we're going to press the uh, cue point yellow marker down here. And that's all there is to that one. And we'll just drag it next to the green marker. Get it lined up best as you can. And we're going to press the purpley fuchsia one. And that's all there is to it, really. Now, I think the problem that most people are having are thinking that they're done right here, and they go to save the recording, and they find that it's not correct. The reason why is you need to drag the white playhead marker all the way to the end of the track. I think that's the little trick and secret people are missing, and that's why it's not coming out correctly. You need to drag the white playhead marker to the end of the track after you've uh, jumped and uh, cut out all your splice points. So at this point now, we're done. Let's just click on Save. And we can even rename this. We'll just call this spliced. And we'll save it. And now let's go back and take a listen to it. Uh, let's uh, rearm it, turn it on, and let's just play the track. We're not going to play it in its entirety. We're just going to listen to the jump points. So let's go ahead and play it and see how it sounds. Sorry, didn't mean to switch to figures. Sorry, hit the wrong buttons there, people. Trying to turn up the volume. So here it goes. First jump point. All right, there we go. It sounded pretty good. Let's just jump ahead a little bit right there to the next one. So there we go. Just jump that in that second point. And finally, let's just take a listen to the last one. And there you go. That's all there really is to it. So set up your cue points and just trigger them as you want to uh, jump to. And remember, once you're at the end of the uh, your last jump point, remember to drag the white playhead uh, cursor to the very end of the track and then save your splice flip recording. I think that's the thing that's messing a lot of people up. Now you might say, all right, we have all these extra cue points now. Well, you don't need them. You can get rid of them. That's one of the great things about flip too. So you just set up your temporary cue points, then get rid of them. Because I'm sure a lot of you have cue points that you do want to save to the track and not just a bunch of the random jump splice point ones. So there you go. Here's a nice little more in-depth tutorial on how to edit out or splice out multiple parts of the track using the new Serato Flip feature in the new Serato DJ version 1.7.